Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. In today's video, we will be sharing with you all of you a message given by Father Mark Goring. Consecrate your home for three days of darkness. What happens after Christmas 2023? Therefore, please take a moment in sharing this video with others, as we are heading closer and closer to the end of times. Wishing you a delightful start to the day and heavenly power through it, each morning begins with Jesus Christ's holy grace and benevolence. God's blessings are entangled with each one of your smiles, to ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. Before coming to the main part of this video, let's join us and pray together. God bless you all. Let us pray and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil, Amen. Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love, send forth your Spirit that we be created, and you renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit, instructed the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit, we may be truly wise, and always enjoy your consolations, through Christ our Lord, Amen. The biggest distinguishing factor of Father Mark Goring's message from Church-approved messages about the Apocalypse is the specificity on the timing and details about the Apocalypse. He said, The time is now. The Father told me you will build it, or the second monastery at the end of the mandate of Trump. This means that in 2023, you will have to build it. After Christmas 2023, there will be political collapse. There will be a warning where the whole world will see Jesus on the cross in the sky, with rays coming from his sacred wound, where blood and water gushed forth as a font of mercy for us. Every soul will see their life sins that have not been confessed. If a soul is currently on its way to purgatory, hell, or heaven, they will experience this. There are others who have said similar things, but so far, there does not appear to be church approval of any message that speaks of a simultaneous event where every person in the world will see their sins. Small tongues of fire will land on every soul during this process, which will last about 15 minutes. Every soul will encounter our blessed Lord. After this event, mankind will have six weeks of calm to get to confession and make a decision before all hell breaks loose on earth. All people will be shown the truth of Christ's one holy Catholic Apostolic Church. Priests will spend day and night in the confessional. Priests will baptize hundreds at a time and will be up day and night taking confessions. The guardian angels of faithful souls will guide them to places of refuge with a flame in front of them. The Holy Spirit will hide the refuge community supernaturally from persecution. Once the warning happens, TVs must be thrown out. The media will tell people that this event had to do with the rays and radiation of the sun. That will be a lie. Christians will not be able to use any communication technology such as computers and smartphones. All tech will be used against Christians. The One World Order will commence immediately, and the army for the One World Order is already in place, awaiting orders. After the six-week relief, nuclear war will happen and seven nuclear missiles will be permitted to strike the U.S. As a result of abominations, many nuclear missiles will be deflected by the hand of God because America does pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet. This was told to him by the Eternal Father. The devil will kill one-third of humanity, just as one-third of the angels were cast out of heaven to hell. The Antichrist will take his throne within the false church and will reign from within the church in the seed of Peter, the Pope. Pope Francis will flee the Vatican before the warning, and there will be a false pope or false prophet. Pope Emeritus Benedict will try to call a council but will be a martyr. There will be a required mark to buy and sell, 
and those who do not take it will be hunted like the SS hunted Jews during the Second World War. If you are captured, you will be tortured and martyred if you will not convert to the Antichrist and the One World Government. This will all precede the three days of darkness. Satan will be cast to hell for 1000 years and then released for one final battle. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. O glorious Prince Saint Michael, Chief and Commander of the Heavenly Hosts, Guardian of Souls, Defender in the House of the Divine King, and our admirable Conductor, you who shine with excellence and superhuman virtue, deliver us from all evil. Who turns to you with confidence and enables us by your gracious protection to serve God more and more faithfully every day. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly to thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come before thee, I stand sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petition, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. To you, O blessed Joseph, we do come in our afflictions, and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage. Also, through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God and through the paternal love with which you embraced the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. Almost watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O oh, our most mighty protector, be kind to us, and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection, so that supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Let us also recite the act of contrition together that, outlawed by his most precious blood and sacrifice on Calvary, may cleanse us of all our iniquity and sin and grant us the grace to be truly saddened and remorseful for all the transgressions and sins that we have committed intentionally and unintentionally. May he also give us the grace to do all the necessary penances and never commit these grievous sins anymore. O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee and I detest all my sins because of thy just punishment, but most of all because they offend thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for watching, and may God pour down an abundance of graces and blessings upon all of us. Till next time, stay blessed and keep praying.